Football is like life. It requires perseverance, self-denial, hard work, sacrifice, dedication, and respect for authority. Vince Lombardi. When you win, nothing hurts. Joe Namath. If it doesn't matter who wins or loses, then why do they keep score? Vince Lombardi. When I step out on the field, it's to eliminate anybody, including teammates, if they stand in the way. Chase McCoy. <laughs> the biggest game of the sophomore season right here on the schedule, the Alabama Crimson Tide against the Tennessee Volunteers, number one against number two. Anytime number one and number two meet in the regular season, you know it's big stakes at hand. And, you know, the winner of this game could go on to be national champion on down the road. But since we're on the opposite sides of the SEC, we could meet again for another shot at each other in the SEC championship. So let's go ahead and get to the game. And as you can see, Chase McCoy stars down in the Heisman race. This is one of those games where I can bring it back up. These boys better have come ready to play today. When you see us come out that tunnel and bang on that tee, you know what time it is. It's game time. Let's go. You saw me shaking my head. I feel sorry for these boys. Don't worry. We coming. Don't worry. We are coming. Let's go. Get Smokey to run and let's get out of here. Here come the volunteers. Let's go. Chase McCoy, I live for big games like this. Number one versus number two. The stakes couldn't be any higher for a sophomore season. So let's show and prove, man. Let's send them back to Alabama with their heads hung and their ass cheeks black and blue. Of course, we want the ball first, so I'm going to sit here. We're going to watch this kickoff. We're going to get right into it, man. Let's see if they can take it for a kickoff kickoff return for a touchdown. That's all right. Got us out to the 29-yard 20, line. I formation, power O. Let's go. Uh-oh. <laughs> You see me, you already know what time it is. I'm making audibles at the line. And you know I make the right play calls. Look at him. There we go. You see me making the adjustments at the line of scrimmage. I didn't like the run, uh, the power O to the left, so I switched it. You know who I'm looking for, right? Tight end. I love that dude. Number 81. I think his name is Hernandez on here. He is a beast. First down, 10 yards to go. So, so far out the gate, man, doesn't look like Alabama came to play. I got these boys ready. Let's go, McIntyre. Counter. Slip one tackle. Let's go. These boys have come to play today. Let's go. We run the HB stretch left out of our formation. Two wide right. McIntyre has come to play. I'm telling you, Alabama might have a game on their hands. They came in the Neyland Stadium expecting this to be a pushover. Not when you got number six behind center. He may have changed things up here. You see me making adjustments right here at the line. Here's a throw oh, EA Sports. I thought you said there wasn't no morphing in this game. 
Oh, slide. That man slid right in front of my man as if he was not there. Step it up, EA. Heath. That's his name. Not Hernandez. Heath is my tight end. But I see the wide receiver on this slant. Easy money, man. You see me standing tall in that pocket. No running right to left. No need. yards from a touchdown. See what we got here. Heath, come on, he's gonna be open. Easy. Linebacker doesn't slide over. Safety's too far in the end zone. Touchdown. Alabama, step it up. A linebacker over justice. That's a mismatch. I'm going to send him on a go route up top. Let's go. Only the safety can stop him, and he's gone. <laughs> oh, man. Look at 37. What is he doing? He had no chance. Oh, man. We're going to have to go back in the replay and take another look at that. I saw him on the left side of the screen, right side of the defense. It was only a linebacker over that wide receiver. And then on top of that, it means the safety had to cover him if he went deep. So I sent, I sent Justice on a go route. Easy touchdown. Safety didn't back up, backpedal good enough in time. And that was just an easy six right there. So let's go in and take another look, man. As you can see, they got three down linemen, four linebackers. As soon as he breaks past that safety, I'm throwing the ball, man. That safety is slow. Justice is a fast slot receiver. And he is gone. What is 37 doing? Eating grass. That's what he's doing. Touchdown ball. Alabama come with it. Jumping into the third quarter, man. 35 to 14. I told these boys to come ready to play. And it looks like they did not take my advice. 11 for 13. 250 yards. No interceptions. I mean, we are basically having our way. With the Alabama Crimson Tide. Tennessee, 35, Alabama, 14. Going into the fourth quarter, man, this should be pretty much it, man. I, I mean, I know some strange things can happen, but you don't expect for your team to have this kind of lead and a team come back on them, man. So we're going to run the ball a little bit, play conservative. And get out of here with a win. Party in Knoxville. Party. Party like a rock star. Whatever you want to say, man. That's what we're going to do. We're going to kick it when this game over. Not only beating a rival, but beating the number one team in the nation. So here we go. Right there. Heath, my favorite target. When a wide receiver or a tight end shows you his numbers, man, you got to go ahead and put the ball right there. So he sat down on that route, showed me his numbers. Nobody was around him. All he had to do was throw a laser in there. And that big frame, nobody's going to, you know, swat the ball away from him. Twelve for 14, 255 yards, four touchdowns. Where is my parade? I'm Al Bundy. <laughs> Poke high. Except for only on the collegiate level, man. So I ain't gonna I'm gonna watch some defensive possessions. This game is over. 42 to 14. You have a you have a right, a reason to celebrate if you're a Vols fan right now. This might not happen <laughs> in real college football, but if you're a Vols fan, you can take pride in knowing that Chase McCoy just brought your team a win over the number one team in the nation. So I'll watch from the sidelines, man. To about the 24 yard line. From their own 24 yard line. And that's another thing, man. If you're on the sidelines, you should be able, if you're on the bench, you should be able to walk up and down the sideline. EA, I'm going to go ahead and call it right now. You need to implement this into next year's Road to Glory, along with some other things. That it, you know, if you want suggestions on what to include in your game, hit me up. Hit me up. I will get you right. Not only that, but we need to get you right on this gameplay a little bit, too. It's a little few tweaks here and there you'll be you'll be good to go 
So this game is over, man. Final score, 45-21. to 21. This was not the third Saturday in October. This is more like the thrashing at Neyland Stadium. <laughs> Sent Alabama good, good and hot on their, their road trip home with their behinds bruised and their egos under the dirt. Number one team in the nation taken down by the number two team in the nation. But I have a feeling that I will see this team again in the SEC championship. So we'll see, man. Stay tuned, and we'll see what happens. And for winning today's player of the game, EA Sports will make a $10,000 donation in his name to the school's general scholarship fund. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 12. Thanks for being with us. I'm Brad Nessler saying so long for Kirk Herbstreit, Aaron Andrews, and EA Sports.